Welcome to the Ministry in this 2,000 point game of Warhammer 40,000 8th edition. Today we're going to have Imperium versus Space Marines. A quick look at the table there. So we've got the um, scenery piece, the Webway Gate. It's just a scenery piece today. It's not going to be used. And obviously there's the remnants here. Of something's been going on. You know, there's drop pods, supplies scattered all around, damage, transports lay in ruin. Been some sort of fight going on here and there doesn't seem to be anybody there now so these two forces have arrived you know maybe one's come to the aid of the remnants of the 10th legion and they've just come to see what's here maybe the other one does know what's going on and there's some sort of valuable resource here perhaps a fight over the webway gate itself perhaps it's still active and give them some access to call in some reinforcements make use of the webway who knows with that we'll have a look at the armies and he has 2,000 points of Imperium. So obviously we've got some knights allying with some guard today. So we'll cover the guard first. So we've got a battalion formation. We've got two tank commanders there. These are going to be the Talon. There's elements of the armored core here. So there's the Talon. There's two tank commanders. Both rotten battle cannons. Side plasmas. Um, storm bolas and las cannons. We've got three infantry squads. Pretty much stock apart from the... The sergeants have got chain swords and a bolter. Then we've got a tech priest engines here, down here, and two scout sentinels with auto cannons. So that forms the core of the troops here. And then we'll go on to some of the newness. Now, these I've never used before on the channel. Well, actually, the big red guy, he's been used before in an apocalypse game, but we'll just sort of review covered it. So I've had these sitting on the shelf for a while, so I thought, why not give them a run out today? Um, and that missile pod on the red guy should be on the other guy, <laughs> which I just totally forgot about, but never mind. So anyway, I think we're doing this right with a sort of read through the new codex. Um, what they're going to be is there's a super heavy auxiliary detachment and a super heavy detachment. Now, because there's not three big knights, so there's armage as I'm not talking about here, I'll not get the command point benefit. But what happens for each knight detachment you've got, you pick one of them and he becomes a character. So if we say Big Red and his armages are in one, then Big Red becomes a character, and Big Yellow, he's in another, he becomes a character, and um, at no additional cost. But they'll not give me any sort of command benefits. And anyway, the armages are rocking the chain, little chain fists and the um, melter lances and the melter guns on top, thermal spears I should say they're called. Um, Big Red has got his thunder gauntlet and the Avenger Gatling cannon. And then we've got, on Big Yellow, we've got the Rapid Fire Battle Cannon. And we've got the, there's an Auto Cannon on there as well, and Heavy Flame on the Avenger Gatlin Cannon. And the Reaper Chainsword. They've both got an additional Melter Gun as their extra weapon. And the Rocket Pod is on Big Yellow. Um, and I'm going to spend some additional Command Points to unlock some Relics. So covering the Warlord traits now, <coughs> and the Relics. <coughs> Excuse me, this guy's going to have Endless Fury. Because he's got the Reaper chain gun there. And this guy's relic is going to be Sanctuary, I think it's called. It's the 5-up, five 5-up. Five so you get to save versus... You get an end one save in combat as well. And then the Warlord traits, we're going to make it... This guy's got the Commander one, which basically gives him an extra command point. He gets one reroll dice per turn. And this guy's going to have Iron Bulwark, so he'll be a 4-up against um, shooty attacks. So it should help him get in there. Um, and a third relic, <clears throat> I'm going to buy, so I'll be spending three command points, is the Death Mask of Olianus for this guy, which basically allows him to, it gives him an invun, a four up, which might help him stay alive if he needs to heal things, and it lets him once per game heal D3 wounds on himself. So... He can maybe run around and help repair the tanks. So if I'm reading it right as well because of the Allegiance, sorry, this guy will also be able to heal a wound per turn on one of these big guys. Um, but I may be wrong. So anyway, that rocks me with five command points, three for being battleforged. You don't get any additional for these because I don't have a third big knight. I may get one in the future, but I don't have one yet. Spend three command points for the relics. And then I'll get one command point back because of his warlord trait. That he gets even though he's not a warlord. Um, I think that's right anyway. I think that's the way I'm doing it. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's right. 
so there's 2,000 points. We'll take a look at Dave's force. Oh yeah, and I forgot, they're all going to be from the House Hawk Shroud. So basically, they double their remaining wounds um, to re in relation to that sort of profile and hitting on and all that kind of stuff. And the rocket pod, if I didn't mention, is a storm spear rocket pod. So that is my 2,000 points. I also forgot to point out, for these guys, the Talon, um, they... Well, it's not chapter tactic, I just forgot what it's called anyway there. The special rule is the infantry units can move, they can advance and fire their weapons without penalty. So basically, they're like assault weapons. Um, unless they're heavy weapons, but all of their weapons. So the las guns basically can move and advance and fire without any penalties. The vehicles, these guys, don't suffer the penalties for moving and firing heavy weapons. So the tank commanders wouldn't get the penalty anyway on the top turret, but it also means now they're... Side sponsons and uh, weapon at the front there don't suffer the penalties to move. And if the Scout Sentinel move, they'll still be hitting on fours unless there's any other negative modifiers apply. So it's pretty good. They're pretty swift. So we'll see how they fare in this game. Obviously, I don't have a lot of troops, so quite easy to kill, quite flimsy. But we'll see. You know, the Knight should be taking the majority of the hits. These guys, while the troops mill around... Try and get some objectives, move in for later games. The Talon have a couple of good stratagems as well to use potentially. Um, there's a one called Ambush where they can outflank. In a one, there's a tank order as well, get around them. So they can move and shoot or shoot then move with a tank. And it doesn't count as moving for the purposes of determining if they get double shots for the top or not. So I've never tried out my tank commanders as a Talon yet. I've had a Talon army for a, quite a long while. I know most of these are Cadian guys, but I just like I like the look of the Cadian warriors. But I've just always had a soft spot for the Talon Corps. And sort of the Africa Corps colour scheme and more recently, you know, the Gulf War, that kind of stuff. I think it's really cool. Right, so this miraculously is 2,000 points. Dave's arrived here for me of Space Marines. I don't think it looks right when you compare it to what I get for 2,000 points. Bang on 2,000, that. Um... So anyway, I think it looks like a battalion and a vanguard. Is that right? It is a battalion and vanguard, yeah. Yeah. So we've got... I'll let you go through it. We've got... Is he an ancient? No, he's just the sergeant with a storm bowler. Down here. Oh, yeah. Him. And a heavy, heavy bowler. There. There's no there. special squad, special weapon there. Uh, a melter squad, multi melter on sergeant and a... No, a combi melter sergeant yeah. and a melter gun. Melter gun. And flamers for this side. Yeah. Captain on a bike with a relic blade. He normally has Thunderhammer as well, isn't he, in Storm Shield? Uh, no, he's using the um, the old Marines relic where the, the Sancta Kalo is, that what it's called. Oh, right, I see he gets a three-up in yeah. anyway. And he can, I've got no Sigas, but he can and deny. He can deny it, yeah. yeah. Tech Marine on a bike, Tech Marine on foot, Lieutenant with a power sword, relic Derrideo. With the auto cannons. Warglaive. An armor jet. Uh, with a, everything's with you, yeah. Yeah, Twin Laz, Venerable Dread, Redemptor Dread. He's not, not a venerable dread. Oh, he's not a venerable dread. Yeah. Whirlwind with which launch is that? Is it the strength it seven one? I think it's the troop killing one. It's a uh, that should be good against my god troops and two rays of axe anyway with the thingies and Dave will be rocking ultramarine chapter tactics. It's a vengeance launcher, the so, one with minus one AP. Yeah, so it's a vengeance launcher. So it's strength seven minus one two yeah, damage and two rays of axe, but uh, they're both with heavy bolters. Yeah. yeah. And who's the warlord? Warlord's the boy on the bike. And the. Uh, what old trait he's going to have is the old Marines 5 up one. Get the command points command back. Command point farming, yeah. yeah. That's a pretty good one, I think. So right, uh, so we'll get the armies five. down and we'll come back. So the game we'll be playing is Retrieval Mission, which there are four objectives. And at the end of the game, each one's worth three points. And there's also Line Break, Ashley, the Warlord, and First Blood. So we've got objective one is down here near the damaged rhino. Objective four near the drop pod. Objective three near the center. And objective two... Yeah, this other damaged rhino. Um, we've got search and destroy for the setup. So there'll be table quarters and a big nine inch gap in the center. So we're gonna roll up, do deployment, see who goes first. And that is. So the armies are down, so the guard is set up. We've got a couple of infantry squads down here. We haven't seen who's gone first yet. The scout sentinels, some little infantry plug in this gap down here. And then we'll come on to the knights. Look at this, this is going to get brutal real fast. The tanks and the um, the engines here there. And the two armagers right up the front. That's the sort of no-go zone, obviously. 
And then Dave's countered with some Marines taking hold in the crater down there, and then all the dreadnoughts and his metal armor looking to come through. It's going to be manic in the middle, isn't yes. it? And then over the far side, he's got a razor back with some guys in and tech marine. Um, I keep looking at the damaged ones. I keep thinking because they're the same colours. The whirlwind right down here. That should have range to stop helping out and thinning out my troops probably. And then the tech marine down here and all the bikes. So Dave did drop first. So he gets the plus one to his roll. So we'll roll this off. So Dave goes first. So I am going to try and seize. No, but what I'll do before the first battle run begins, I'll do some scout moves with the scout sentinels and we'll come back after Dave's movement. So the Ultramarines are on the move. This tank has busted ass with a massive advance roll on a six. I don't think Dave's going to pop smoke because there's nothing that can really, nothing can see it from this angle. It's well covered. The Armager's going tactically. He stepped around the corner out of sign of my knights, but he can see an Armager there. Um, the Redemptor is the only Dreadnought that moved. Everybody else down here, well, the, the smaller characters and the bikes moved or disembarked from transports, etc. But the Dreadnought, these three Dreadnoughts stayed still. And this guy hit reverse before somebody, um, after somebody got out. These guys have stayed still because they've got a heavy ball arranged down onto this squad. And this squad advanced. So Dave's starting his outflanking manoeuvres. I'm going to go into his shooting phase though and see. Hello. This is really good because it says brutal, but obviously checking all of these mountains are great for this because some of the stuff's like half hidden and that's great, isn't it? So we'll go into Dave's shooting phase. So the Derradeo down here has got line of sight to these few guys here. Yeah, joking around the side, it's the only two guys you can see in the squad. And I said to Dave, I'll just take them off when something else shoots in. So he's remembered and he's going first with the Derradeo. So it's the... Uh... Auto cannons and the heavy bolters at your boys there. So the auto cannons hit some twos. And he'd be rear ones because one. there's a captain nearby. And of course, how do I manage it? Um, no. Yeah, front eight. Front eight, so two to wound. And you can rear ones because the lieutenant, lieutenant got out the rhino as well. In bite. So that's a f seven wounds, and the minus is. The lieutenant. So these guys have a normal five up armor. The auto cannons are minus one, so it takes them to six, but they are all in that crater. So we're looking for fives. I've managed to save two of the guys, but that's five down. They're probably going to melt away with morale, but you've still got some heavy bolt as they come. Yeah, three and three, isn't it? Yeah. Three and three, twos. All hit. Uh, the strength five, is it? Yes, yeah, so you'll be on threes to wound. So it's another four. Yeah. So it'll be the same save again, we're looking for five ups. So we've lost eight guys in the squad. So Dave's armager down there, he's got line of sight on this armager here. He's going to go for a shot, so it's D3 shots with the yeah, thermal got, spear. The first yeah. war glaive. Yeah. Uh, D3 shots. So he's got two. two. Hitting on threes. Three. Yeah. We've got one hit. And it'll be I'm going to re-roll that one. Command re-roll. Yeah. Do I get it back first of all? No. No. But well, he gets um, a reroll. But does it hit? Yes. Uh, yeah, two yep. hits. Wounded on threes, two, two wounds. wounds. There you go. So I need my shield saves. And thermals. So we're looking for five up on this guy. So he saved one, one's gone through. D6 is a D6. If I'd have used the shield rotate there, I'd have been saved. Oh, <gasps> Big six, wow, good start. Heavy stubber coming in, he's got one hit. Be a five to wound, it does get its miss. wound. He's saving on a four up against the stubber. Oh, it's no minus, is it? So it's a three up. Yeah. I keep thinking the York ones are getting mixed up. Yep, so he's saved. Yeah. He's still half these damage though. Right then, um, I'm gonna last cannon him. It's a twin Laz coming from this dreadnought. I might be a bit of stu uh, heavy bolter. You know yeah. what? I am gonna rotate my iron shields in. Okay. So I'm gonna drop down to five command points. I should have probably done it before, yeah. but. Hitting on threes, last cannon. But I'll reroll one for the captain. Yeah. Two hits. Two hits, wounds on threes. Uh, you roll ones for the lieutenant, well, yeah. yeah. Two wounds, that's why I decided to rotate yeah. it. And you had a bit too much of a buffer going on down there. Well, after the so we're looking for there. fours. None. D6 so he's got two D6. Oh, oh 18 damage of three shots. Sorry, yes. Does he go? <gasps> no, he does not go. But that is first blood to Dave, and that's an armature down. I would have liked that if he went like. 
Yeah, he's not finished his shooting yet. No. So Dave's venue to launch up from all the way behind that rock down there. He's coming into these guys, got plenty of range, 72 inches. Oh. He's getting two shots. <laughs> he's got two hits and it'll wound on twos. He's got one wound and down here it's minus one, I think the venue's launch up, right. isn't it? Yeah, so I'll get a save of a six. Two damage. For this guardsman. Nope, so we've lost one in this back squad. You've got a strong breeze then, don't you? They do, right? They do indeed. So this fella down here now is putting his little gun and his frag storm launchers into these guys and the big gatlat into this guy. And the armager, yeah, right, so the... So the there's two frag storm launchers. Launcher, D6. I think you get two, don't you? Oh, do, two course, frag storms, yeah. So five, He's got eight, eight of those, he did move. And I think, is this a heavy? Strength so, four. Yeah, so assault Ooh. gun, so he doesn't get the minuses to hit, so he's looking for threes, he can reroll the ones. Get rid of the twos. And it's strength four, so you're looking for threes to wound, and again, re-roll the ones. You have three, three wounds and no negative. That's right. So these guys will be a four up in the crater. So, right. oh, one, one's alive, the sergeant is holding in strong. Way, yeah. Right, the little onslaught Gatling cannon. He's is... dead, yeah, I think it's five shots. One, two, three, four, five. This is heavy, so it's fours. Heavy six. Heavy six, sorry, so it's four shots, hitting on fours, re-rolling the ones. Two. And it's threes to wound. Re-roll the ones. Two. Two wounds, this is minus one though. That's right. So we're looking for fives this time. Well, he's dead, either way. Done. Well, this is cocked. So that's second blood. Yeah, and I've wasted me Leviathan because they're all the, Yeah, the Leviathan is now out of range. Obviously this turn, Dave's... Didn't want to move to take much of the minuses, considering he would have put himself danger close to me. Um, I'll tell you that's a war I think that's these pretty much it, isn't it? Is that the end of your turn? Um, that is the end of my turn, I believe. Yes, it is. Yeah. So first blood score for Dave, and we'll go into the Imperium turn one. See what one. we can do. So this God Squad of Advanced, they're going to probably die to whirlwind next turn anyway. Dave stayed still. This guy stayed still. This knight stayed still because he's still got a good line of sight down here to some dreads. These tanks have moved up a little bit but not more than half so they can still make full use of that turret weapon. This guy absolutely legged it with an advance, got a six. This knight's moved forward, as Dave said he's hovering. Um, he's, there's a little crate underneath him. And the armager moved up his full whack. So really, this is about this turn, I think putting as much hurt into your dreads as I possibly can. Or maybe it's your other armager and see I'm what we can do, yeah. yeah. I'm expecting some damage here. So these tank commanders have ordered each other to reroll ones. So hey buddy, reroll ones, and he's gonna go hey buddy, reroll ones. Um, and we're gonna start with the first guy who's gonna start firing this guy, and he's gonna go down at that redemptor, which you can see down there. So we'll get our dice ready. So we've got two D3 shots from the overcharging plasma. We've got five shots, it's a nice start. These are threes to hit, minus one because it's a heavy weapon, but because he's Talon, they don't suffer the penalties to move and fire heavy weapons of the vehicles. So we're looking for threes with the tank commander, any ones will be a mortal wound. We can reroll ones, so he's got four hits. We're looking for threes to wound against the Redemptor. We've got three wounds. So they have a save one, so that's four damage. Goes through on the Redemptor. Uh, then we'll go for the las gun, the las gun, sorry, the las cannon. You can reroll the ones. <gasps> He's missed. Get in. And then we've got the battle cannon, which can fire twice because he didn't move more than half. We've got seven shots. We dumped us down to nine. So we're looking for threes, rerolling ones. That's it's, a pretty good hit roll. It's not even lights in them yet. Yeah, and there's threes to wound. So we've got th four. Four at minus two. Down the fives, yeah? Yeah. One, two. We'll one. These are D3 damage each. Oh, it's going to be going are you using any command points on any of those? I don't think it's going to matter, to be honest. No. no. So it's three, four, five, six. He's got three wounds left, has he? Yeah. Three guardsmen, though. So this guy is going to put his battle cannon and Laz cannon down into the dreadnought down there and his plasma cannons into the redemptor. So again, he's overcharging, so 2d3. So just three shot, uh, two shots this time. Looking for threes. Got one hit, looking for a three to wound. 
It is a wound, so Dave's got to save of a six or it's two damage. Nope, uh, so he's I done. I might as well command point that one. You sure? First of all, the first Are you sure? Because the other guns, he's going to get a battle. Oh, have you, have you already declared the Oh, no, no, sorry, that's just the plasmas in him. Yeah, yeah, go for it then. So you need a six to you, save. You've put everything on him, haven't you? No, no, the other oh. guns are going into your, vet, ah. your dreadnought with a laz. In that case, I'm not bothered. No bother. So, yeah, he's just, just got one it. wound left, yeah. And then we'll do the Laz Cannon at the Dreadnought. It's a hit. Looking for a three. You know what? I'm going to command point that, I think. Oh, no. Nope. Nice. Doesn't wound. So that's me down to four command points. And we've got 2d6 shots with the cannon. Eight. So these are threes to hit. Rerolling ones. Oh, a lot of twos there. Eh? And we're looking for threes to wound. Four, four saves on the dreadnought down there at minus two, so four five ups. On this one? Yep. <laughs> oh, none of them. You haven't used a command point yet. No, These are D3 damage each. Do you want to use one? No, I think you have No, either. he's just yeah. going to go for it. So D3 times this lot. That's nine, that's enough. So there you go. So yeah. he's, does he blow? Oh, oh nice. are you I'll using a command? That one, yeah. <laughs> I'll re roll that one. No. Does it Do I get it back? No. no. So this armager is going to put his melter gun on the top into the Redemptor, hopefully squeeze off the last wound, and he's going to go his thermal spear into the other Redemptor. So we're looking for threes to hit the melter gun first on its own. It's a miss. And we've got, point, yeah, yeah on command point. And we've got D3 shots with two with a thermal spear, looking for threes. One got one hit. It is a wound, so you've got your ion shield on a five up. Ooh. Five up, you saved it, yeah. Uh oh, this could get what dangerous. What's that one? Big yellow is about to open up. We're going to use the missile pod and see through the gap. We're going to go for the redempt and hope we can tickle the last wound off him. And then he's going for his um, rapid fire battle cannon into the Leviathan. His other guns are going to be out of range, his melt and stuff like that. And I think he's probably still will be out of range as well. So we'll start with the rapid fire battle cannon, 2d6 shots. Ooh. So these hit on threes against the Leviathan. That's pretty good, pretty tasty. He is T8 all the Leviathan. So these will be wounding on fours. That's not bad. That's actually pretty good. That's six wounds on the Leviathan at minus two. So each other was six. Four. Five, six. Six saves on the in run, yeah. One goes through, two goes through, three goes through. So we've got... Uh, but you've used your command point on the thing. Yeah. So we're looking for 3d3 damage off the rapid fire battle cannon. Eight. Oh, dear me. Boosh. Bing bang bosh. So the... Still on this guy, the rocket pod is coming into the Levi... Uh, not the Levi, it's in the Contemnar, so it's heavy three. Obviously these guys don't get the penalties to move and find heavy weapons. He's got three hits, mm -hmm. he's looking for threes. He's got three, three. wounds, he needs three saves of a five. He's gone. And he's gone, because yeah, it's D6 damage, he's on one wound. He doesn't, he doesn't blow up as well. This is going to be an uphill struggle for the Marines, I think, now. Yeah. The Marines were there. Gonna yeah. So the, this guy now, he's going to go, his heavy flame is going to be out of range, his melter gun's out of range, but he's going to shoot the relic gun. I'm going to take out Dave's. Well, hopefully, Dave's armager. So you can see him now, he's moved around this corner. So this one gets 14 dice to hit. Any sixes count as two hits. So we're looking for threes. So that's definitely cocked. So we've got quite a few misses, but we've got four sixes. So we'll add four more dice in. Yeah. These will wound on fives because it's only strength six. So we've got one, two, three, four wounds at minus two. But it's two damage a pop. So he's dropped three, so he's dropped six, so he's down to half wounds as well. Yeah. And I think now I'm out of charge range with everything because the front stuff's died, so... That's why I let the die, see? So that, yeah, that is the end of my turn as well. So we'll go into Space Marines, turn two. 
So the older Marines have moved. These guys have continued I'm their gonna, advance round. I'm going to re-roll that one. All right, he's command point and the re-roll on the heel and the actually, dreadnought. What does it so he gets? He gets three, three wounds back. And do you get the command point back? Yes. No. No. It's five up. Oh, sorry. So he's healed three wounds on the Leviathan, so he's back up to nine. These guys stayed put. The Flamer squad have got out just to lend a little bit of bolt of fire down here. The Razorback didn't move. Dave's Armager has moved up. Um, the Leviathan didn't move, did he? The Leviathan did move, yeah. Oh, no, so everything around here has moved to form a nice little defensive castle as much as they can. But the Tech Marine skidded out around here on his bike. Yeah. And, and this... Move forward, yeah. not got anyone else. Yeah, they haven't got out yet. They're waiting. Has he got... He's got a line of sight down there to that squad down there to put in a couple of combi bolter shots off the top and the heavy bolter, so we'll go Six. straight into Dave's shooting phase. We'll go that first. So, so three into three for the heavy bolters. Yeah, so he'll be hitting on fours because yes. it moved. One, two. Two. Two wounds. So these guys are going to go to ground, I think the strategy called. No, take cover. So I've spent a command point, I'm down to three, and you got two wounds, was it? Yes. So this will give these a save of, to basically add one, so fives to save. Fine. All right. Saved. Is it just out of rapid fire, is it? Yeah. Where's the dice gun? Yeah, so it's one hit. It is a wound. So looking for a four up. Nope. So we've lost another guy from here. The world. Whirlwind into the same squad. Got three shots this time. Jesus. Looking for threes. Well, they've all hit. Looking for twos. Oh, they all wound and it's minus one, isn't it? So yes. they'll be down to sixes, back up to fives with the stratagem. Oh, there's three, that's better. Boop. So they've lost four this turn. I'm going to leave a dice there because morale could be a thing for these guys as well. Right then. So the Tech Marine's going to open up into the army with these Storm Bolt, etc. Hit on twos, isn't it? Um, yeah, he hits on twos. What? Wounds on fives. Wait. This guy will rotate his ion shields because he's going to probably get a lot of shots coming in on yeah. him this turn. So you've got two wounds. So we're looking for a three up anyway from the normal armor. So he's dropped a wound. So he'll be down to 11. If there's any more small arms, we'll do the small arms off camera and then come back with the big guns. All the small arms fires come in here. So we've had this tactical squad, that tactical squad, the bikes, guns and all that kind of stuff. And they've took a couple of wounds off the armor gel altogether. Dave did try and do the Hellfire shell from these guys at the big red and he missed, he used the command point and he missed again, he missed, didn't yeah. get the command point back so just waste the command point, yeah he's just throwing them away so anyway yeah. he's still got his big guns left this boy is gonna storm cannon your armor jet and grab flux your big lad right okay um, I think your flamers are probably just yeah, out of range right. on there yeah I wouldn't on the grab flux then it's heavy d3 obviously uh, because it's going against the monster or a titanic vehicle the damage of this goes up to five two. so it's quite considerable yep two shots you'd be hitting on twos at this profile still i think six seven yeah you'd be hitting on twos and you can yeah, re-roll he, he moved well you can re-roll the one anyway because yeah. the captain's right beside him yeah so they so they both hit and it's strength is it strength nine there you go two wounds for this guy's got his four up in one he saved them both. <sighs> He's eaten the grav flux. So we've got the storm cannon. cannon. This could shots. be the end. Yeah, this could be the end of the armager. Re roll the ones for the cannon. So and just the ones two. and twos missed there. So this is the storm cannon coming at the armager. Four, five, six. And it's strength seven, isn't it? You can re roll the ones. Yeah. So that's a healthy lot of wounds. Five wounds, I think. Storm cannon. Right, so this armor has minus two save on the storm cannon. It's two damage a time. Obviously, he rotated his ion shield, so we're looking for fours. He's dropped one. Sorry, Ooh, nice. that's pretty good save rolls yeah. this turn. So he's down to eight wounds. Uh, that's correct. So last no, no, I've got him, so. All right, so yeah. last, well, not last, fair. Second last is Derradeo, so his heavy bolters are going into the armor and the auto cannons are coming into the night. Two heavy bolters hitting on threes. And Moves. he can re roll the ones. Miss that one. And these are fives to wound against the armor jet. And we roll that one. We've got two wounds. So we're looking for a four up. Is it a, is it a five still? It's one wound taken. Uh, eight shots. One so he's down to seven, seven now. Eight shots from the Amherst auto cannons. The auto cannons and coming in hot. Big boy. That's just a couple of misses. That's pretty good. Be wounding. Seven. Strength seven, eight, isn't it? So it's wounding on fours. Lieutenant. 
Ooh, that's better. Three. Four. Yeah. Minus one on the save, so it'll drop to a four or his in one of four anyway for his trait. And it's two damage a pop, so he's actually took four wounds, so this guy's down to 20. So this guy, that's the first stubbers coming here. Thermal spear's coming at this guy. Thermal spear at the start, D3. D3 shots. It's three, but he hits on fours now because he's been halved. <laughs> Ooh, this could be ominous. He's wounding on fours. He's got two oh, wounds. Reward, yeah, he's done his reroll. We're looking for two four ups. Uh, he's in half range. He will be in half range, and I've failed both of them, so it's 2d6 and pick the highest twice. Six. So we have a six. Second one. Four. Four, so it's ten. So he's dropped now to ten wounds, but Sorry, obviously his hawk shroud, he's yeah. technically on 20. You can fire that thing without penalty, but the stubber will wait. Yeah, stubber's hard. Right. Oh. Well, to be honest, he is. It's at the top of his head. You can't see where it is. <laughs> yeah. it? And it's on his back, <laughs> shooting between his shoulder blades. So this guy's going to hit, I think, with fives now on the stubber. Ish. So they've all missed. That's him. I think um, it's Dave's charge phase. Here he comes. So he's going into this guy. So we'll do some overwatch so people can see. So we'll get D3 shots from the thermal lance. Just one. So I'll roll the melter gun at the same time because they're technically the same gun. Looking for sixes. Nope, and he cannot really fail. Yeah. Ten inch. Well, actually, good roll because ten inches. You could probably come right round if you wanted to. But get in the mix. You, you so we've got some armadier on armadier action. So Dave's no is fours. damaged. He'll be hitting on fours. He's got two hits. Got to reroll one of them now, can't I? For uh, different kids. You can command reroll yet. Yeah. So he's got three hits. Does he get the command point back? No. Nah. He doesn't. He wound on threes because he's strength twelve with a big um, reaper chainsaw. So he's got two through. It's minus three. So I need sixes. No, so that's a flat three damage each. So my armager goes down to one uh, wound. You're gonna hit back. Yeah, but I'm massively crippled now. So my armager now massively crippled. He's technically on two wounds for Hawk Shroud, but still in his last profile. So I'll be hitting on fives. Oh, he's got two hits. I'll be wounding on threes. He's got two wounds. Can Dave's armager make a save of a six and stay alive? No, are you command point one of them? I've already done it. Oh, you've done it, yeah. So does he blow? He does! Oh no! So mine's dead. D3. So wait it. well it's, I think it's within six inches. Well, I kind of miss you. So this guy's just out of six, but he's blew up, nothing else is within six. Yeah. Does he go, because that'll be his last wound gone from the mortal wound. Oh. No, I had a feeling I was going to go, which would yeah, then yeah. blow up and cause some wounds on him. But that's Armager v Armager Destruction. What a way to end turn two as well. So with that, we'll go into turn two for the God Imperium. So not much movement there. The Sentinels shunted up onto one to hold that. These guys have um, stayed put. This knight's moved into the middle. The big knight's moved down here. You can still see a lot of targets now. These guys have stayed put. They're waiting for a long last minute dash. These have stayed put. These are past the morale check for these, and they've come down here to form a screen. And obviously, this guy's got some good line of sight down here. So let's see what these guys can do. Again, they'll order each other to reroll ones. We're going through the legs. Look at this, it's going to knock that tassel out of the way. <laughs> so this one's going to open up into the Leviathan with everything. So we've got 2d3 from the plasma cannons. So we've got five shots. Be hitting on threes, rerolling ones. Oh, he's rolled good again. And these are fours to wound. Oh yeah, yeah, they're all pretty good. So you've got minus three, three saves so on your invul. Yeah. Yep. One. So that's save. four damage goes through on the Leviathan. We've got the last cannon. It's hit. It's a wound. You've got another invul save. One more. Good. He's passed that one. And we've got two d6 from the battle cannon. Five shots. Looking for threes. Rerolling ones. And we're looking for fours to wound. No, no wounds. So the Leviathan, was he on five wounds? He's yeah. still hanging in. Yeah. This guy is going to put all his guns into the... The Daradil has got an in one as well, hasn't he? But is yes. it a five up against shooting? It's better against shooting. Than it's other way around, I tell you what, actually, this guy is just going to go against the Leviathan as well. So yeah. he's going... Oh, I would like we'll get down to this level, you can see, around the sort of corner. So um, 2d3 from the plasma cannons is four shots. Um, again, three hits. I haven't had any sort of ones to reroll for these. They're all pretty good. Fours to wound at T8, so we've got one at minus three. One 
four again. Good. He's good. We've got the last cannon. There's a hit. Looking for a three. I'll spend a command point, yeah. which take me down to one. Yep, so that one goes through, so it's a four up. He's good. He's good. And we've got two D6 from the battle cannon. Ooh, just three this time. I'll change your command point. You got one. Yeah, I'm down to one. So we've got one hit so far. Just a one hit. It is a wound. At minus seven. Minus two on this one, so you're still on your end one. I'll reroll. Yeah, come on, point that one. <sighs> no, do you Do get it back? Finally. Yeah, you got it back to cost him nothing. D3 damage from this one for the two. Three. So he's down to th three wounds. Not as effective this time from these guys, but still, I think that's enough. So this guy is going to rapid fire battle cannon into the Derrideo. He's going to stubber. I'll have to measure the range on the stubbers. If he's in range, I'm going to stubber the marine squad that are just down here. I can see them from that angle, but it's just hard to get around. And then the auto cannon into the Derrideo, the missile pod into the Leviathan. Yeah, because I kind of see your, your whirlwind still hidden, isn't it? Right. I've tried to get a little angle on it, but it's <clears> well <throat> hidden down there. So you can see you can see these guys down here. So I'm going to rapid fire battle cannon and auto cannon. into the Derrideo missile pod into the Leviathan. So auto cannon. He's got one hit. It's no wound because he's T is the Leviathan no so the Derrideo or T seven or T eight. So that is a wound, sorry, the Derrideo is, <laughs> is a toughness seven, yeah, so that's two about, two damage from the auto cannon. Start with fourteen is that right? I think so and two D six from the battle cannon. Oh right so we've got the battle cannons 11 shots, hitting on threes. What's this at again? This is at the Derrideo, yeah. Derrideo, Derrideo. Be wound on three, ugh. That's six, at minus two, so he will be on his end ones. So oh no, does he get a two up all, man? <laughs> yeah, it starts with a two up. Two up save, Derrideo. Yeah. Yep, so he'll be on four ups. I'll double check it, but I'm sure. Uh, so one goes through. Well, it wouldn't have mattered anyway, I think. Unless he starts on a three, then two will go through. It's D3 damage for the two. Yeah, Dave's cheating. He is a three <laughs> up, so it's two D3. So we've got two and two, so four. So the Derrideos took four wounds from the battle cannon. He took the one earlier on from the auto cannon. Uh, and then we're doing the rocket pod. The Leviathan's a two up, sorry. There you go. Do the rocket pod. at the. This was at the Leviathan. So we've got two hits. Big fours to wound. No wounds on that one, on the rocket pod. Moving down into Big Red, hmm, wait, he's going to do his Melter Gun into the Leviathan, so that'll be in with 12 inches. I'm going to do the Rapid Fire Gatling Cannon into the Le Derrideo, mm -hmm. um, and the Heavy Flame is probably not in range of anything, so, get some dice. So we've got the Melter Gun going into the Leviathan, he has missed, I've used my command point. The Leviathan's living a charmed life so far, and we've got the... Avenger Gatling Cannon hitting on three still because I'm Hawk Shroud. There's only one six there, which will be two hits. That's a pretty bad roll. So I'll take that extra dice. We're looking for fives. That's a pretty good wound roll. We've got four wounds at minus two. So minus two with these nice. two damage. So that's on the Derrideo, sorry. So how many do you feel? Three. So it's six Good damage, nice. he's still alive on two. And I'm going to just do all the heavy stubbers combined into that tactical squad. Because they all hit on the same profile. They all hit. Be wounding on fours. So you've got three wounds on the tactical squad with the flamers. And you've lost one of those guys as well. Well, that's right then. Yeah, scrap that. I don't have heavy stubbers, I've got the <laughs> melters. So I just told Dave to put them back. Uh, that's the whole and the, game. Yeah, the flamers out of range. <laughs> so with that, I think I'm going to attempt a charge with the knight into you know what I might even bottle the Leviathan. He hasn't got his power fist, you think? I know he hasn't, but he's got a grab fox bombard and you know what? Yeah. And he's got a lot of shots. Hits on sixes, reroll ones. Yeah, let's go and smash into the Leviathan and see what happens. So we'll let Dave do some overwatch. Is we flame are gonna get it. Actually how far away am I? Nine inches. 
because that's quite a long charge. Oh, How far am I from the got a tactical yeah. squad? Eight. Eight. Nah, we'll go Leviathan. Come on, let's go for it. Oh, so we'll see how many shots he gets with the grab flux. Though three. I knew it would be three. <laughs> so he's six is re roll ones. Oh, oh, you always do this to me with the grab flux. I'll re roll that one as well. Right, okay, command point coming up. No, no. Nope. No. no. So Dave's down to three or two command points now, was it? Three, yeah. Three, yeah. Three's to wound with the grab flux, just one through. He's used his command point. Yeah, should have done that. So it's a four up in run. No. So it's a flat five damage, right, isn't it? Yeah. So he's down to five already, and you've got your storm cannons. Ooh, just take them back. Storm cannon, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten shots coming in hot. Sixes, re rolling ones. Just the one, two. two. Any ones? Yeah, you've got oh, yeah. a few ones there. It's two, be wounding on fives, no nine. wounds, so can I make a nine inch charge? I've got one command point left. It's a nine. Yeah, boom. It's quite rare it happens. So the lieutenant is heroically intervened as well, he's trouble. going in, that so yeah. I reckon he'll do it, you know. I that reckon he'll take trouble. him. I reckon, I'm betting it right. Mate, the Leviathan I've, been, I've been playing the game for this. Uh, <laughs> this is, lieutenant, this if he, if he makes it and I don't blow up, now. he needs named. So we're going with the fist. Because I'm Hawk Shroud, I'm still hitting on threes. Minus one, looking for fours, just because I want to throw that Leviathan <laughs> if I kill it. So I've got two hits, I've got no command points left to reroll. Um, I think I'll be wounded on twos. Please don't really throw me Leviathan. Just one, one wound. Um, do you get an in run in close combat? You do, don't you? Yeah. He's made it, the Leviathan has survived, but he'll not be able to shoot next turn. So let's go into Dave's. Oh, Marine scene, just oh I can fall back. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Do you mean, you've totally fell up the trap, yeah. Yeah, that is. Dave's, Dave's oh. sucker punched us I'll in. I'll let you wipe my army to, to suck just you do in. this. Yeah. Let's see what these brave heroes of the Imperium can do. Right, I think. Uh, I think it's seven, I think. <laughs> two, two attacks at Leviathan, hit not fours. Dave wasn't expecting miracles from this guy, and he's missed. I'm amazed he's still in. But he's missed got, anyway, right? Yeah, okay, but hits on, yeah. here comes Giant Slayer. Yeah, he is. Yeah, David. So three attacks from this guy hitting on twos. The, the captain, captain is still within six. So he's hit with everything. He's yeah. got a relic blade, you said, didn't he? He has a relic blade. So you go up to strength six. He's still wounded on fives. He's got one. And the relic blade, I think, is minus I've done two. me re-roll this phase, haven't I? Yeah. No, no, it's the assault phase. You haven't done a re-roll yet. No, no, I did in the, uh, the charge and everything. Oh, it's a charge, charge phase. phase. yeah, yeah. Might so well it's a different mate. one. Does, yeah. he, does he get it? No. Does he wound? So you didn't Can't get it back. Re -roll, re -roll, yeah. uh, Do you get... So no, he didn't wound and he didn't get it back. Yeah. So we're looking for a six up save. It's minus three. No, so it's D3 damage from the relic blade. Two. Just the one. No, See, one sorry, yeah. That could have been better. And down to four wounds on the night, and we're going into the marine turn three. So marine turn three, these guys have advanced around here. Um Dave knows it puts him in sort of danger close, but he's going for the objective game. Obviously, they are troops, so they will score it against my sentinel. The guys around, they were around the corner, just down here. They re-embarked in the transport, then it zoomed as much as it could up into the middle, it's and it's cop smoke. So it's coming for a late grab. So as damaging as this game has been to Dave, he's obviously playing for the objectives, which is definitely the way to play it. Those guys have stayed still, not far from that objective. Down here, the guys got out. Come round. Come round, and the tanks come round as well. Um, looking to rinse out my troop squads and come and steal the objective down there from me. And then round here, the dread. Everyone obviously backed out. Um, they all sort of moved and shuffled around either way. Anyway, and Dave's got his tech marines ready to run in, and the captain ready to run in and smash this big beast. And the whirlwind stayed still because it's in a pretty good yep. place anyway. So we'll start with the whirlwind over here. So the whirlwind's going down against the squad. In the ruins, Two deep sorry, three. in the thingy, or is it going to the squad in front of the marines? Yeah, this one. Yeah. yeah, so the ones that three come up. Shots. So they all hit, they wound on twos. Three all wounds. So we're looking for fives to save. That's with your cover as well, yeah? Yeah, because they're in the cover, so we get a five up normal on my minus one, so we'll drop two guys from there. Any? Just take any, yeah. Dave's using his last command point, so these guys are going to do a hellfire shell, or potentially last command point. Do I get it back first of all? Yes. It does, so it's a free command point, so does the Hellfire Shell and Bolt are coming it in. It does, so it's D3. D3 wounds, mortal yeah. wounds for the two. Uh, um, yeah, You've two already, yeah. Yeah. So I'm down to, I think it's two wounds now, yeah. Two wounds on the big red. So four Bolt shots. Got two hits, looking for sixes. Yeah. Nope. 
we're going to do. No, so nice. these guys are going to try with the bolt as wrong here, and we'll do that off camera. So Dave, Dave did get two wounds with the bolt as, but um, we made six? both the armor safe, so he's on two wounds left, the guy. Just two? So, yeah, just two. Dave's having to think about what he wants uh, to do. Very strong, yeah. So we weren't going to film that, but this guy threw a crack grenade. Obviously, minus one to hit when he fell back, but he has hit and he did wound. So we're looking for a four up save. Well, this could do him in. Oh, he saved. Nice. So the Leviathan has fell back, so he'd be a minus one to hit. I do reroll for shooting up Yeah, but what he's going to do, he's going to do his flamers into this guy for the auto hit, the storm cannon into this guy, and the grav flux. Oh, the so now just in range of this guy. We'll go with grav flux first. D3 shots. Two. Two. Uh, I think that's going to be ridiculous now. Yeah, I think that's two misses. Oh, yeah, I didn't do the heal. Yeah. So sorry, did forgot to do the heal, so let him go back. So he healed a wound on this guy, used his last command point, didn't get it back, rolled a one again, but healed three wounds on the Leviathan. So I think that makes the Leviathan hit it back on threes, threes yeah. but he fell back and yes. it's heavy. Yeah. Four is five, so he's missed with both shots. And I've used my reroll on that. Well, I've got one left. So yeah. no, no command points for the reroll. Box. But he does get 2d6 flamer hits. 2d6, yeah. Yeah. Five. A little bit heavy flamer. So that is two wounds. So we're looking for four up saves. Oh, he's down to his last wound and there's the storm cannon there to come in. So we're hitting on fives of these because of the four back in the move, but he can re-roll the ones. He's got one, two, two. and these are wound on fives. Yeah. Both wounded, this Minus is ominous. One, so two four-ups for the knight. Minus two. He's gone, because the two down, well he's gone anyway. Does he blow up? Does he blow up? Oh, I thought he, no he doesn't, no. I thought he was going <laughs> to. So the Derrideo, now eight. hitting on fours normally, but he did move, so he's on fives. He's going to put all his guns did he move? in the big yellow. He move so these are the heavy bolters, hitting on fours, you can reroll ones. He's got four hits. No, oh, three hits, yeah, yes. sorry. And one wound. That one? Yeah, go for it, go for it. You can reroll the one. Hit. One wound. <laughs> so we're looking for a four up from the knight. No, so he's dropped a wound, he's down to 23 wounds. And in, <laughs> in come the auto cannons. Comes, yeah. yeah, hit on fours. That's a better roll. It's a much better roll. Sorry, no. He's a wee wounding on fours. Am I hitting on fours? Yeah. Get, sorry, Dave is hitting on fives. Good point because he moved and he's damaged. So it's still a good hit roll, yeah, though. Four hits. Like. And I think it's strength eight, isn't it? So it's it is, eh? three wounds at minus one. Minus one, two damage. We're looking for fours. Oh, Ooh. he's dropped six wounds. That's sorry, horrific. Yes. That is pretty good, Dave. Right, there's these guys to home up, which I think is going to be a foregone conclusion, yeah. so we'll do that off camera. Do the, well, I kind of feel, kind of. So what we thought was a foregone conclusion, yeah. we had a couple of melters into the scout sentinel, took it out. Sky. Yeah, those guys <laughs> took some bowl of fire and <laughs> stormed one thing that hit. Thankfully, yeah. you did six damage. Yeah, Dave, uh, I kind of feel the charge, with, yeah. what do you get? So you're going in with the rhino, the razorback first to eat the large yes, guns, just right. in case. Yeah, you can't feel. I'll do some overwatch off camera. Some grenades and in. I think that's probably it for charges, because everything else is well out of range. So surprisingly, the Razorback took two wounds to last gunfire on the way in. But these guys are pretty much dead, I think. So Dave's yeah. going to go first. They don't five of them, with. and the sergeant's got a chainsaw. One, two, three, four, five. They all hit. Wound on threes. Oh, that was horrific. Two yeah. wounds. So got two five-ups. Nope, two gone. I thought they might do. Yeah. And then you've got your Razorback as well, so you've got three attacks hitting on sixes. Yes. No. So I'm going to have three guys attacking back. Because two of them are dead. Plus the sergeant who's also got a chain sword. Um, so I'll need another dice because yeah. he gets two attacks. Does the sergeant get two attacks anyway? He does, yeah. So I need one more, doesn't I? Uh, yeah. Mm. Well, actually, you better roll yours first because if I die, okay. I see you missed. And I'm looking for fives. Whoa, two wounds on the marines. Oh, they're good. They're good. Yeah. So what we'll do, we'll get rid of... Two guys, and I need a leadership. It was two, wasn't it? Yeah. Dad? I need a leadership test. I've got seven, so on a six, I'll lose a guy. Nope, they're good. Okay. Right. So we'll come back now with my turn three. So just to shuffle around, really, from these tanks, this guy just on the right there just moved a little bit, so you can now see down here, and also still see down here, see the Leviathan. And um, this guy stayed still. He's got a pretty good field of fire. Big yellow has now moved up into the fray in the middle. The sentinel didn't move, I've just pivoted him around because you can see the um, razorback. 
Um, the squad on the left fell back out of combat and the squad on the right have moved up. So we're looking to put some las cannon shots, las cannon, las gun shots into those marines. I think we'll start down there. It's going to start down here. So these guys are on rapid fire range of squad on the right. Squad on the left obviously can't shoot. So we're looking to hit the marines on fours. And we're wounding on fives. We've got two and the sergeant's also got a ball up. So he's got two hits and he'll be wounding on fours. So he's got one, so that's three, three ups from the Marines. Can we knock the Marine down? Huh? Yes, we can. We take a Marine down. So coming down to this tank, we're going to open up with these plasmas into these guys. We're doing his Laz cannon and his main battle tank cannon at the Leviathan. 2d3 from the plasma shots. Just two. We'll, um, we're not overcharging because they're not multi-wound models so we're looking for three three rolling ones for the orders that's one goes through three to wound it is a wound so you've got to save with the marine squad down here on a six nope nope, nope so we've lost the marine down here we've got the last cannon at the leviathan re rolling ones because of the order oh snake guys he's missed <laughs> which and one could you see <laughs> two d6 from the battle cannon could see either the front two so we've got five shots. Looking for threes. That's a good roll. And looking for fours. So we've got three saves on the Leviathan's in run because it'll be minus two. <gasps> two have gone through. He's on six wounds. We're all out of command points, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, it's four damage. Two. He's down to two. So this guy's going to go, he's Laz Cannon. Plasmas. Actually, I'm going to wait. He's going to wait. Right. Yeah. This guy's going to go his auto cannon at the Razorback. So he hits on a fours. He didn't move. We've got one wound with the auto cannon, so it's at minus one. So it's a four up from the Razorback. It failed. It is two damage. Nope. So it's passed. Hmm. It's all about what the knight, I think, because if the knight can open up some transports, then I think it's, everything's going to be in a world of hurt. Let's have a think. So this guy's going to go rapid fire battle cannon. Dave's just throwing dice everywhere. <laughs> so rapid fire battle cannon is going into the Derrideo. We've got the auto cannon and the missile launcher is going into the, re the Leviathan. And the melter gun on the front is going into the Razorback. So the melter gun at the Razorback has hit. It doesn't wound. Mm. So we've got the battle cannon into the Derrideo. Three shots this time. Ooh, I'm getting a bit of a whiffer. Hits on threes. A definite whiffer. Just one hit. Wounds on a three. It is a wound. You've got an in run on the Derrideo. <gasps> which he's failed. What's yeah. he got? Two damage. D3. Oh, he's got him three. Does he blow? No. No. So the missile pod into the Leviathan. Looking for threes. Got three hits. Looking for fours. We've got one. One in run on the Leviathan on two wounds. Oh, he's passed it, hasn't he? Yeah. Four up. Whoosh. Right there. So this guy is going to go... It's plasma guns overcharging at the Leviathan. Right. So that means you could blow himself up. I could take mortal wounds, but yeah. I've got 12, so I'm kind of technically yeah. die. I'm going to go the rapid fire battle cannon at the Razorback down there. Okay. And I'm going to go for the Laz cannon and the Storm Bolter. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. Actually, the Laz cannon, yeah, into that Razorback and the Storm Bolter as well, just because I think that's yeah. everything in range. Thank you, Razor. Start with the battle cannon, that was the knight. Alright, yeah. He killed the Derrideo, so the main battle cannon's got eight shots. So we're looking for threes and he can reroll ones with the main battle cannon. Get rid of that one. That's a good round of hits. Do you know what? The Russes have done alright so far. I think the last turn was up for, I don't know. Looking for threes to wound. Yeah, that wasn't good. So you've got four, five ups to make. So you drop two, so it's two D3 wounds. For four. Four yeah. on the, the, the Razorback. Razor right. Starts with ten. That Razorback over oh, there. Yeah, so he's down to four, I think, because he took a couple of wounds. 
And we've got two, we overcharge him with the plasmas on the Leviathan. Oh, six shots. We hitting on threes. We rolling the ones. Look at that. And we'll look for fours. One. And it is two damage. You've got one in one on the Leviathan. Oh, does he blow? No, he doesn't. So the last cannon into the Razorback is a miss. And the Stormwater, two hits. We're looking for fives. Oh, there's a wound with a storm bolter. So you got a three up save with the razor back. Yep, Oop. it's saved. So I think that's the end of my shooting phase. Yeah. The knight's going in against I the knew razor it would back. Be. Has to be. Yeah. Big sigh of chopping off, haven't you? I'm gonna absolutely try. So we'll let Dave do some overwatch off camera. I can't yeah, really yeah. feel the charge roll. There's an eleven. Nothing on the storm bolt there. But one hit and no wounds with a heavy ball so yeah so he's in yeah so this guy we're going to just go for his smash attacks because it's big and it looks brutal so he'd be hitting on threes because his hawk shot is damaged but he's good enough so that's three hits wounding on twos oh my god that's ominous that's when you know it's bad i think it's minus four isn't it dave the reaper chain sword and it's a flat six Min damage minus three six damage oh it's minus three so you do get three saves of a six but it needs to make one of them well two of them yep no, so it's took 18 damage. <laughs> Does it blow up? No. No, so we'll let... guys inside. Dave will, yeah, roll some dice for the guys inside. So the guys are all good. They'll have to come out and see where they want to go. So they disembark right in front of Big Yellow. Right but, where I want them. But as I point out with Dave, Dave is winning 2-0. First blood <laughs> and slay the warlord. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, he's perilously close to all three of these, uh, all four objectives, actually. Ah, any chance. Apart from this one. So... We'll see what Dave can do in turn four. Dave's sneaky marines continue that manoeuvre around here, so they haven't advanced or anything. Now they're within range, chucking some bolt of fire, some crack grenades. Line of sight's pretty tricky down here, but I'm probably try and tickle some wounds off a of Lehman Russ, I'd imagine, with some bolters. These guys have opted to come and pick on a softer target than a knight. <laughs> um, a little bit of shuffling down here, but the heavy bolt didn't move just to make sure they're within three of that objective. Everybody's moved forward down here. The lieutenant is advanced, so he can't charge, but he should still be within buffer range of everybody else if they get in. And the razor back down here has stayed still because he's oh, going to be at a minus to hit anyway. And then the attack squad's just moved forward. So we'll go into Dave's shooting phase. Right, whirlwind. Yeah, so the whirlwind's whirlwind going in the big squad. It's got four, four shots. Hitting on threes. Two. And two wounds. Going for two six ups. No, two guys gone. Fire and no, I'll go with thing. Raise it back, yeah, because it'll be hitting on fours now, it's damaged. Everything at them. Yep. Ball. One. One's on a three. One. Needs a five. No, nope. lost another guy. Heavy ball there. Wow, that's, that's pretty good, good shooting. It's doing it. It's good shooting that's for being shooting. damaged. Five hits, wounds on a three. Can get the squad here. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> that's a heavy ball, though. You're yeah? shooting blanks. Yeah, that's the heavy ball. So there's still two dead from the storm ball and heavy ball. Shoot the big squad and charge So the guy squad. with the anti tank gun's actually going to lob a grenade at yeah. these guys, frag grenade. So rapid firing into these, frag grenade as well. Yeah, so D6 shots from the grenade. Oh. Ooh, nice. Six. On threes. All bar two, wounding on fours. Two, two. wounds. So we're looking for two five ups. Oh, I'll make them. I hadn't made any saves with that squad yet. But yes. here comes some rapid fire bolt or actions. Threes. Okay, going down here. Oh, oh Dave, what's going on? Oh, I don't know, mate. Jesus. One. Went for a five up. No, so we've lost another guy from down here. Was this squad, wasn't it? Yes. Yep, we'll take him off. So this tax squad here is putting all guns into the big knight. So Dave's going to start with a heavy bowler. One. He didn't move, so he's got a hit and he nice. doesn't wound. And then we've got some bolt four. fire. We'll do that off camera. So all these are fired bolters, storm bolters as well. Tickle the wound off the knight. <laughs> so every little helps at this Just stage. Just laughing at them. Uh, they fired, Down fired, fired there, isn't it? So these guys going into the sentinel. So they've got a two combi flamers. flamer and a flamer. The flamers do. Four Eight four. So we're looking for five to wound against toughness five. One, two, three. Three. And I'll get a four up armor with the scout sentinel. 
So he's dropped a wound, so One. he's down to four wounds. Or oh, five wounds, sorry, you start with six. Four gun. One for fives. One. One wound. So again, a four up. Crack grenade. It's hit. It is a wound. It's minus one, so I'm looking for a five up. Nope, it's D3 damage. It's the one, so it's dropped two wounds. It's down to four. Gun. So the second squad's Oops. doing a crack grenade and a ball line to the sentinel. Ball gun. Two hits, no wounds. Crack grenade. And it's always if you roll it second, the crack grenade misses. Ball and we're going two ball guns ball. downrange into the Lehman Russ. It's got one hit, looking for a six, no wounds. So I think that's Dave shooting. Yeah. Right. He's going to charge declare everything. charges. Full on charge, 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 charge. 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 <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll do some more. Actually, I tell you what, roll two dice for these guys. I think they need something like a three or a four. So it's near guys and they're not getting in. Seven. They're in. These guys will be the same. Don't like that. Uh, awkwardness. There you go. Yeah, Seven. they're in. Take me in at the back five inches. inches. He's definitely in. The other guys can't fail. Um, so no wounds from Overwatch down here. This guy got three solid battle cannon hits on the captain who went in first and all three twos to wound, so no wounds going in. Then down here, no damage done. Did wound the Razorback, but it managed to make it save this time. So Dave's got an epic assault phase going here. You know, points wise, this game, you're massively in the lead now, if it ends, but we'll let Dave, obviously there's no command points to interrupt, so. I'll go with the captain first. Yeah, it was four attacks, I believe. So the captain with the relic blade four attacks, he's hitting on twos, he can reroll ones, he's got four full round of hits. If he's wounding on fives, he's got three wounds. Will he be strength six? This guy's got the shields that give him the relics, he's got a five up in running combat as well. So I think the relic blade's minus three, isn't it? Uh, minus three, yeah, D3 so damage. Five up in run, <gasps> he's past two. Two in runs, so it's a D3 damage. On two of them, yeah? Just one. Just one, sorry. So it's full three, so he's not going to 13 wounds. Mm -hmm. You're going to go with the... Have you got any way to interrupt or anything? No, we're all out of command points. So you've got... Tech Marines. Two Tech Marines, haven't you? I'll just do them together, can't I? If you want, yeah. Four, isn't it? Yeah. So we didn't do it on camera, but the Tech Marines have swung in, and they actually did four wounds between them, with the servo arms going through, so pretty good fight in that on the night. So he's down to 11 wounds. Over here. Yeah, and we'll move over. Dave's going over to this side now. Marines, we'll just do this off camera because this four. time they should be dead. So again, didn't record this. Dave massively Whiff. whiffed and I made a couple of armor saves. Um, and then all these guys attacked back and killed two of the Marines. Yeah. Um, so the Marines can't fail. The squad there, that only lost one guy, can't fail morale. So we'll not bother rolling for that. But that was a surprise outcome. Yes. I'll let Dave roll a heck of a lot of dice down here. Two chains. So the scout sentinels down to one wound, didn't kill anybody in return. Now the knight, mm -hmm. um, who do we go against? So with the knight, I'm going to split the attacks. I'm going to do two reaper chainsaws on the captain to go for it. And I'm going to do one foot into one tech marine and another foot into right. the other. He's going to river dance <laughs> all over these people. <laughs> so <laughs> he's going to chuck Norris here. <laughs> so we'll go tech marine on foot first. So we're looking for threes because I'm still... Counting it as 22 wounds with Hawk Show. So I've got three hits. Looking for twos, because I'm strength eight against the guy on foot. Mm -hmm. I think that's three wounds. Yeah. Now the Tech Marine does get a two up armor. So he's failed one. So it's D3 wounds on the Tech Marine on foot. Just the one. So you'll have three wounds left. And then we'll go three on the Tech Marine on the bike. Got two hits. Looking for threes to wound this time. Just one. Again, you've got a four up. Yeah, minus two, mm. so he's saved. Yeah. Then we're going for two That's on the captain. Right. One hit. All I need if Dave fails a save. It is a wound. Three Dave up. needs a three up, one or a two, and this captain's dead because it's a flat six I damage. There's nothing I do about it. No command points. Oh, he's good. I don't know how he does that. He's good. Time. He's good. And with that, that's the end of Dave's turn four. Going to my turn four. There he is. So movement is complete, these guys have stayed in combat, the squad on the left have fell back, sitting on the objective. This tank has moved just less than half, the iron, um, I've just forgot his name on the... <laughs> this guy has moved up, just to get between the tanks, and this tank's moved up, it's full movement, and now the closest model is Dave's carrot as up here. Um, they're just about 9 or 8, 9 away, and these guys are just over 10 and a half. Obviously the sentinel's locked in combat, he can't go anywhere. The knight has fallen back. 
and he's about to open up because all those characters are now closest to him. So we'll move into the shooting down here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with this lead tank because he can literally just see these guys. Whereas the back tank has got range down there. See those couple of those marines near the drop pod. Um, so we're going to start down here, and this main battle tank is going to put its plasma guns because you can ignore characters on this and nine wounds. I'm going to put the plasma guns into the tech marine on three wounds. I'm going to put the las cannon into the captain and the main battle cannon into the captain we'll see if we can absolutely destroy him mm -hmm. so he did move more than his full alloc well he moved his full allocation so you can only shoot the top one once it's one shot from it as well and the orders again was to reroll ones to hit that's definitely cocked so he's hit he'd be wounding on a three it is a wound they will have a three up in one Oh, he's failed, so it's not D3 damage, he can't die. It's a full three though yeah. off the captain. And then we said last cannon as well, didn't we? So the last cannon's hit. It has wounded as well, so he's got another three up. No one, oh dear. Oh, two in one save fails in a row. There, the captain's definitely vaporized. And then we've got two D3 plasma oh. shots. There's five. So these will be hitting on, we're not overcharging with these. Actually we are, because we're going for the ones, we'll reroll the ones. So these are hitting on threes. Again, he doesn't get the minus till he's hit with heavy weapons on the side sponsons because he's talon. And then these are looking for twos to wound on the technion on foot. Look at that. Just one. So you got one save of a five up. That should be four up because he's in a crater as well. Yeah, so he's passed. And then the rear tank. I'll have to measure distances for this guy. So this guy's going to open up with his main battle cannon. He's going to go little plasma guns into the tech marine on foot again. I'm going to overcharge. We'll go las cannon, main battle cannon at the other tech marine on the bike. I forgot to do the um, storm bolters, but we'll do both of the storm bolters at the tech marine on foot as well. Yeah, so the storm bolter shots have just been done. He's good. So we'll do the main battle cannon shot first. He does get 2d6 because he didn't move the full lot. That's seven. Looking for threes, rerolling ones. Ooh. Ooh, he's hit with them all. Look for threes to wound the tech marine on the bike. Ooh. One word. So that's six. So you'll be on six, Three. four ups. One, six. One, two, fail. He's got five wounds, is it? Yeah, it's 2d3 damage. Obviously, there's still a las cannon to come into him as well. That's four wounds. He'll be on his last yeah. wound, I think. So we'll do the las cannon now. It's hit. Has wounded. Yeah. So you'll be on a five up against the last cannon. No. No, that's the end of the tech marine. And then two D3 from the plasma shots. It's four shots. This is against the guy on foot. Overcharging. So they all hit. They all wound. So yeah. Dave has got four saves of a... He's already dropped out. <laughs> four or more. Yeah, he's, he's fell over. Oh, he's just fit. Oh, he's on one wound. Yeah. He's only failed Still one. Right. He's on his so last wound. He's ducked down something. Yeah, that's that it. Me, um... He took. I took. Went, went to ground literally. Yeah. So we've got this guy left. So what we're going to do because we can ignore characters, we're going to melt that gun. The lieutenant who's not in cover. That's right, I. Yeah. We're going to heavy oh. stubber. Would he? Would they not be closer than though? To the knight. Mm, no, no, no. Because no, no. So we're going to melt a gun him. We're going to heavy stubber him as well. Then we'll do the rapid fire battle cannon at the marines in the bottom corner. I think in the missile pod at the marines in the bottom corner as well. So the missile pod is heavy three, looking for threes. All hit, looking for twos to wound. That's three wounds. Um, so you'll be on four ups in the cover. Two. So two, two will be dead because it's D6 damage a time. The melter gun on the lieutenant has missed. The heavy stubber, We've got two hits, We've got two wounds on the lieutenant, yeah. two three ups from the lieutenant, one, he's dropped the wound, and the rapid fire battle cannon, seven shots. Going into the marine squad at the back, we're looking for threes, <gasps> they've all hit, that hawk shower is invaluable, mm. so there's been a lot of misses there, we're looking for twos to wound, 
we have five wounds at minus two, but plus one because you're in the crater, so you're looking for fours up. And five, crater. five dice. Oh Christ! <laughs> so four, five. No problem. Four ups. <laughs> so he's got. That's three gone. That's no, no. It's not him. It's the back squad. So that is the squad oh. gone off the objective at the back. Changes everything. So in my charge phase, big yellow is going to go in against a tech marine because the big knights they can't fall back and shoot and they can't fall back and charge. Crack grenade. No. So he's missed. So we need to roll some distances. Yeah, that's cocked. Three inches. Ooh. He's not no. in. He's not in. So we're going to go into Dave's. Oh no, sorry. We'll do. I tell you, what, we'll do these bits of combat. combat I yeah. keep saying nothing will happen, and I keep killing yeah. marines, but this turn. Nothing's going to happen. So down here, I managed to kill a Marine, and Dave Sargent then punched the cack out of two of the guys there. In a morale check on a six, I lost another guy. So it's just the Sergeant left there, and a Sergeant and a guy left over here. Then we'll come down here, which is actually probably better for Dave. The miracle that did happen is that he whiffed again. <laughs> yeah. Actually, he caused three wounds on the centre with the two squads, and I passed all three armor saves on a four up, which was massively, massively unexpected. So it's Dave's turn five, and we'll see what he's gonna do. Well, really. So Dave's staying in combat with the other pacifists, they're just trying to talk each other mm -hmm. to death, and keep them alive. These guys have moved forward, obviously there's not, there's no benefit for me to kill them in terms of points because the warlord's dead. They're too far away to really contest any of the objectives just yet, because this knight's literally sitting on one, there's not a lot happen, which is about it? here, and there's no way they can get close Fact. enough. There's just them chucked from yep. the maze, and that's it. This guy has gone busted for line break. I didn't advance, but he is just he's sort of on the borderline of my deployment zone, which runs right through the back of his tank now here, so he he'll get line breaker. And this guy stayed locked in combat. So Dave's shooting phase is pretty much just the two guys down here. Because the Razorback, sorry, no, sorry, the whirlwind advanced around you know there. What, actually, you know what? Oh, is he I'm maybe dropping back this? and shoot at them? Yeah, so Dave. Rethinking his move there, because this guy's an ultramarine, he is going to fall back and he's going to put some shots into these guys because he'd be at minus one to hit. So I forgot about that. So do you want to start with this guy down here? Yeah, so four shots. I'm guessing, he's is he grenading or is he doing... No, he's doing a storm bolter. Storm bolter, yeah. No, he's got a melter gun, mate, so I... Well, it'll be combi melter, so say two bolters That's or... That's what I'll do. Two bolters and a shot, isn't it? At minus one again, but then it'll be five ups, isn't it? you are probably better off just bolter in them. Yeah. Or frag grenade oh. them with D6. Frag grenade, yeah. Frag grenade. <sighs> it's one wound. Wounds on a four. That's it. They know, but you have to hit. So you've got one grenade, which hit oh, on so a five. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, he's with... That whole squad's been poor for you this game. That's right. So both these guys are going to crack grenade. That marine. Big yellow. Hits, and the other boy hits. Both hit, so there'll be wound on fives. Ooh. Both wound. So we're looking for a four-up save. So one's gone through one hasn't it's a D3. Oh just the one. Do he's down to ten. Uh, they will charge him, yeah. Actually right. you've got pistols in combat down here. Yeah, I do actually. Yeah. So we'll do them off camera, because if you kill it, you kill it, and these guys are both gonna charge. Four and four. One, two. Yeah, Dave is pacifist, he definitely doesn't want to pistol this guy. So we'll roll some charges and since the tech marine can't feel, he's two inches away. But you can get overwatch. He can get overwatch. But the other guy probably needs a Four or three or four? Why well, is in either way? He's got a five. So who's going first for the Overwatch? And we'll do oh, it with the 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 Tech Marine's got a one up armor in effect because he's standing in the crate, whereas the Lieutenant will have a two up armor from in the crater. I'll go with the Lieutenant. Lieutenant on three wounds, right? We'll do the Overwatch up camera and see if he's still alive. It's one of them with it. what do you call it? So the Tech Marine made it in. The lieutenant there took a missile to the face. <laughs> um, he was he took a couple of wounds off the he other stuff, it didn't off he? But, first and then, uh, yeah, uh, shrugged it off, then didn't mean it. But miraculously, this guy then made it in. So the tech marine's going to start the combat with off. His um, servo arm. So he's hit. hit. It is a wound because it's strength eight. So we're looking for a five up because this guy has got the relic to give him a five and a five. <gasps> he saved against the servo arm. Power sword. Got one hit because he's on three. He has got a wound, and this will be again on his end one. No, nope. yeah. so he's down to nine wounds. That's it. And then you get to nominate a unit. You've only got one of these guys um, left in combat. I've got to fight, haven't I? Yes. Yeah. Um, I've asked that question well, for us. I don't want to, I want to stay. Well, it doesn't matter, it's four. 
so combat is over. Dave is the luckiest man alive. <laughs> like he failed to wound this guy. Well, he did wound that past one armor save. I think uh, I would have won it if that had worked over there. Well, it's still my turn five at the minute. You are yeah. still winning, so I've got to try and get onto some objectives. Um, the tech marine, I just decided to use the big reaper chainsaw and just make sure I got rid of him. And that's it. So we're going into the Imperium turn five. To see what they can do. So this sentinel is bogged down. He hasn't moved. This guy shuffled up a little bit to get within three of that. And the other guy moved up. Who's done nothing all game. This guy's moved a little bit again. Less than he's half moved. So you can get double shots. And they're within range to give each other orders. Um, the sergeant over here has just moved over close up the objective. He'll put some bowler shots in there. And the knight has come stampeding through the gate and it's looking at that whirlwind so we're going to go into the shooting phase and see if we can get rid of these pesky ultramarines so these guys have just opened up into the marine and done no wounds this tank the tank's going to put its plasmas into that marine and it's going to put its battle cannon and las cannon into the razorback but we'll do them off camera so this guy plasma guns have made short work of the marine guy so this is blue for the las cannon and um that's cooked wait for the battle cannon i managed to get 11 shots with the battle cannon which is quite good and he's got the orders on to reroll ones so that's a pretty good roll the las mm -hmm. cannons unfortunately missed he's looking for threes against the razorback so you've got five saves to make at minus two so five five ups Oh, Dave, he's dropped all, well, he's yeah. dropped four, so he's definitely They've dead. Up. They've given up. Boosh, that removes him from a line breaker. This guy is just going to put all his guns into the whirlwind downfield, because that's now the only available target for him to shoot at. So we'll see how many battle cannon shots he gets, and then we'll come back and do the rest. So he's going to have seven battle cannon shots. So there's the battle cannon and the plasma going into the whirlwind. Rerolling ones for the order. So the last cannon's missed again. We're looking for threes. So Dave's got four saves to make with his whirlwind on a five up. One, two, three, four. Yeah, give it up. Four. The knights are good. Well, it's four D, four D three. So there's two, four, six, seven. So the whirlwind still has a few wounds left, but it's going to get some plasma shots and a knight into the face as well. So the two D six plasma shots will overcharge. So got four, hitting on threes, rerolling ones. Wounding on threes. So got two saves on the whirlwind of a six. So two uh, saves of a six, or it's gone because it's got four wounds left and these are two up. Oh, snake eyes, does he blow? Nah. No. So with that, then the knight obviously won't be able to move any further up the field and charge. Nah, he's the one. And he can't see any targets now. So we're going to go into the assault phase and the sentinel's going to attack. There's no charges to make. And he's missed. So we're going to stop it there at the end of that turn. <laughs> These guys managed to remove the Sentinel, which didn't explode. So the Space Marines, as it is, will score three points for this. First Blood and Slay the Warlord is five. You know what it is? It's actually close with the points as well, because I only get three, three, which is six. If we carry on with the table. And Line Break at seven. Yeah, but we we'll stopped, so it's actually five to seven, which... You know, we know the Knights are strong, and they've proved really strong in this game, and what I wanted to try, like I said to Dave, is just some backfield fire support from some heavy tanks yeah. and some really cheap troops. They're awesome, they look great as well. And to be fair, the troops did what I thought they would do, if they got attacked, they died. Yeah, but that's what they're for, they, in that guard. Yeah. They are, but to be fair, they survived a lot longer than they did. Your rules with the Marines were pretty poor, but just having that extra support, the Lehman Russ, especially tank commanders, providing the heavy fire support so the they knights didn't get picked on. Single shot them because no. there was too many other I think they had two bowlers yeah. at a Lehman Russ. But um, they are powerful, they yeah. are powerful. I think the knights maybe need a little points increase. The armagers are beautiful. I know they didn't do much this game, but they are a massive threat. The little armagers, they're really good. Mm. Hawk Shroud's super duper strong in terms of, you know, just keeping your profile up. That's. It this knight that, yeah. would have been hitting on fours, you know, he would have missed a lot more of his shots than he did. I think you've got to really, you would have to really try to make a knight army, like, suck, you know what yeah. I mean? Uh, yeah, I think he, even a poor player, I'd struggle. I mean, to be honest there... It's hard to miss with them, isn't it? Yeah, it's hard not to do well with them. And like I said, if you're... To be honest, turn one, though, you didn't shoot the knights. A lot of your stuff wasn't in range or yeah. a bit, well, a bit scared armages, to push on. Yeah, are going to be in my face. Exactly. Yeah. So that's a great a great point. You know, we talked a lot about the armagers. Even if they didn't do anything, 
to stop Dave's dreadnoughts moving forward to get within range, which might have cost them the game. Yeah, I tell you what, what I noticed as well was the difference between eighth edition and seventh when I blew up that red knight. Where it was, if I had to stay there as a train, it would have totally blocked the middle of the board. Yeah. Like just that rule thing, oh, you take it off the board, well, yeah. that changed it massively, you know. Get those line of sight. So, these guard guys down here, I think, to be honest, they probably deserve man of the match, this little squad down here, because they held off <laughs> a Marina tactical squad and, and a Razorback. Razor yeah, yeah. And everything else, because it pretty much performed as it was. And that Sentinel, even though it did really well to survive for those turns, probably. You know, it hindered you. It hindered us more because, yeah, if you would have just died, I would have done it. Yeah, so, had all the firepower to wipe them easily. An Imperium victory, but you know, this was probably just a, a mock war, I wasn't it? Or just tactical. It yeah, Dave said before, either way, the Imperium wins, or if you look at the other side, Chaos wins, isn't it? Because the Imperium <laughs> killing each other. So, with that, it's the end of the game. The Knights rule victorious. Actually, you know what? It, is? it was good to get them on because I've never used. I've had the knights for ages, yeah, painted yeah. up, and I've never used them. The arm just came out, and it was actually... I knew as soon as I came in and saw quite the fun. knights, I thought, oh, I'm quite dreadnought heavy here. Yeah. <laughs> but Do the thing is, because like they are versatile, like, you know, 2d6 shots? Yeah. Even if I was using, like, orcs or something, I'd still look like, yeah. you know. They are, they're very, very strong. Yeah. Dave made a good point. Normally, when he brings a leviathan... He's not scared of now, he's like a big playground right. bully and, and all of a sudden like somebody, uh, Leviathan somebody brought their dad in the Leviathan and he just shut up and he didn't do anything. <laughs> but I uh, know it was a really fun game. I do like the Knights. I don't know if I'd use them. I think I might get a big one. Uh, Dave's massively a big Dreadnought fan if people have been watching the channel. Oh, and they know. So he'll definitely, I can guarantee he'll end up with a Knight army. But I think if I was going to run Knights like I did, you know, I'd give you a text last night to say I think I'll switch to Imperium and get the army mm -hmm. and stuff in. I think it's common courtesy if you're not in a tournament just to let somebody know because if you turn up with a it could make for a really boring game like yeah. if you turn up with some troops and some light little skimmers then nothing but devastators and las cannons you know like that, yeah. you know? but on the flip side yeah if you turned up with just las cannons it wouldn't be a very interesting game yeah. for the night either yeah. but yeah i think you need to know you need to have some sort of knowledge that you're going to be fighting yeah. all this heavy armor otherwise you literally just will get walked over or you play the objective game and have loads of little squads and just Mm. Raid it I mean, out I, and hope I you survive. I do think a knight army against a knight army would be pretty boring. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's just it's probably a case of who, who goes, goes first and goes first. better. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing really. Well, Most there would be tactics, right. I suppose, and you'd probably have to play not an eternal war mission, maybe some Maelstrom one to see what cards you got. Yeah. And that would switch it up. To be fair as well, in this game, I think the cards might have switched it up a little bit. Yeah, because they would favour the, the non knights. Side. Exactly. And then maybe it would have been scoring points for the objectives or. Yeah. You never know, the cards could have been yeah, cards could have been bad and you might have got the objectives that were miles away from you and not scored anything. But um that was a that was a fun game to play. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll catch you again soon.